All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we are working on an injector swap on this today. Uh, I originally put in these orange top 850R injectors whenever I swapped the turbo in. Actually, I put the white injectors in first, and then the car wouldn't start, and it was because of the flywheel. But I ended up swapping these injectors in, and now I'm swapping them out and going back to the whites. To get a little bit more power uh, these are out of like an s70 turbo and i ran them in my 850 for a while i actually have five of them there's number five there but yeah it ran them in the 850 they're a good swap for the 850 and we're gonna see how they do with the 15g here in the 240 so we'll get these finished off it's real simple to swap injectors on a 240 there's like two bolts that hold the rail in one right there and one back there and uh, then there's one more holding the fuel pressure regulator and that's about it you just pop it up off of there unplug your injector harness and uh, then there's gonna be some little horseshoe style clips kinda like that just pop them right off the only thing is you want to make sure when you're messing around with the injectors that you get the right o-ring size a couple of these 850 injectors had like skinnier o-rings on them that didn't want to seat down into the intake manifold so it's definitely the fatter o-rings when you when you work on this intake manifold i had one that wasn't sealing there and it had a little bit of gasoline but i got a fatter o-ring in there we'll see if that helps i might as well do a quick walk around of the repair work that i had to do after the little front end collision i had as you can see i got piece of green body metal in here and uh, the rest of the car is blue but this piece whenever I wrecked was pretty well trashed it was all bent up and of course the grill was broken in the other video you see me make a new grill and some other stuff like that but I'll just give you a quick walk through um, after the car was wrecked I had to take like straps and pull this metal back far enough that I could get in there and remove the radiator and stuff and um, I needed a new radiator and <clears throat> I bought new headlight surrounds which is like the plastic behind here is all brand new like the basket that holds the headlight and it actually holds a turn signal too so that's all new both headlights are new like new lenses that was all from eBay from Swedish Auto Parts uh, they were pretty cheap, I think 125 for both of them. So that's a headlight and the back, uh, the headlight support bracket and the headlight lens bulb, everything ready to go. So, and uh, yeah, it came out pretty good. It, I didn't replace the front bumper yet. I do have another cover to put on here because I got that little hole in there, but I didn't feel like taking that all off. And I need to buy some pieces of trim clip from like IPD that that's why there's a zip tie right in the middle there that hold this front piece on uh, the front the front trim piece is also a replacement somebody put a screw in it from the used car that I got it from and this little cowl right here this piece of metal is also replaced you really can't see much of it now that the car is painted but there's a small seam right there and a small seam on the other side and they are like riveted in there so that piece was kind of hard to install but not you know not impossible and like I said once it's all put together you can't even really see that piece of metal down there so yeah she's all done obviously I got a hood too the hood was red and I painted it flat or matte black uh, just until I make up my mind whether I'm going to try to paint the car black or paint the hood blue or I don't know. Probably just going to leave it like this because it's so faded. So I'm not mad at that. It's a pretty decent hood. All in all, I think the accident probably cost me about 500 bucks. So sucks, but hey, shit happens. Injector installs done here. I got a battery. Disconnected doing a master reset and take it for a ride.